Hi, in this video we will show again the, mod the Daladder model starter, but it we won't use any SFC blocks. We will use only simple FBD blocks and uh, to implement our algorithm. We will use the CAM block and uh, to have the steps for the algorithm. Let's remember we start the motor by pressing the low speed and after a certain time well, then we can use the high speed. If we have reached the high speed we can get again the low speed if needed by pressing the low speed button and go again at the high speed by pressing the high speed button and we must to stop our motor when the stop button is pressed and we have a low, a low or high speed overload. So. The CAM block is configured for four steps. And uh, at the first position we have no output. At the second at the second step or second position only the first uh, the first output of the CAM block is on is high. At the first step the second is high and at the fourth step the thread is high. We are giving pulses using this OR to our CAM block for the forward step. And using this input, we give a pulse and go a step back. We reverse the CAM. And with this input, we reset the CAM. This is the position of the CAM. And using this arithmetic output, we can control the positions. We can know where is the cam. The cam is always looping, so if the cam reached the fourth step and has again input, it will go again to the first step. This, this is something that we want, so we use the cam position control. Can, we use the compare of two values. We use this. We want to be different the value 1 from the value 2. If equals, we have no output. That's all. We choose this. So when the out when the position is at the fourth, is the number 4, and uh, it's equal to the constant we use is number 4. The, this output will be low. This block is the always on or the constant on and it is used to, ena to enable this function block. So this is the first this, uh, with this with these blocks we use them to go at the second position of the CAM block. So, when the time is passed and the high speed is button is pressed, we giving one more pulse and we go to the third positions. If we are at the high speed, we want to go again to the low speed, we use this and to have a transition to the low speed by pressing the low speed button but if we want to go again to the low speed we use this and we just say the cam to go back one step or one position here is our timer this timer is for the transition for the lo from low to high speed and used to avoid uh, the short circuit during the transition of the, of the contactors. So, let's simulate our program. Let's press run. As we see, 
we can start if the high speed button is pressed or the low speed button is pressed because the reset conditions are on so we have to press that button so if we, ha if we press the low speed now The low speed is running. Here is the time. We will wait 10 seconds. After that 10 seconds, we can press the high speed and have transition to the high speed. Here our timer is running. We use 10 seconds delay at this video, but uh, to so we can check it. But uh, it pre I prefer we have to change it at one millisecond if we want to draw if we want to be fully correct we want uh, a very the delay to be as uh, little as possible so if we press again to go to the last to the low speed we will see that our cam position will be number four This cam control position is used for one reason. If we have that, now we will we would press the low speed and the cam tool will go again to the beginning, at the start, and we had no outputs. It would be the step one. With this, we avoid that. So, we are running at the low speed again, we press high speed, and the transition to the high speed is beginning. Okay, now let's press again low speed, and the transition to the low speed is begins again. Let's press the stop button and the whole system stops this was our goal it's a large program it's more difficult uh, this program to implement it understand someone than the SFC the SFC is, is something uh, better for that algorithm than this it needs a little bit of experience to choose what way we will program Zelio And that's all. This is our loops. That is our conditions. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.